and gentlemen, they are joining us now. It's incredible Italian, Italian performance from Federico Pagnoni, who will shoot on target number two in this gold medal match, the compound men's individual final up against the Netherlands living legend, Mike Schlosser, who is the clear favorite for this gold medal. And his opponent shooting on target number two, representing Italy, Mexico 2017 Team World Championship silver medalist, Federico Fagioni. The line judge for this matchup is Tanvir Ahmed. It's all about the gold medal. Well, here it is. Time for gold. The last on compound Saturday here at stage two of the Hyundai Archery World Cup. Fully expecting Mike Schlosser to be here contending for a place at the World Cup finals and another gold medal in the Hyundai Archery World Cup stage. Going up against a strong, committed, Disciplined Federico Pagnoni, world number 42, has had a great time this week in Lausanne to find himself in this gold medal match. But he's definitely the underdog as Mike Schlosser of the Netherlands will get us underway. longer hold on that you know the first three areas between the two of them nicely timed and then a longer hold results in the nine ten, 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 and that is a perfect score. what can you say just straight into the middle ten. 29 for uh, Pagnoni is not bad either I mean a nine in the middle there but as you said Nikki a slightly longer hold and that is the difference between very 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 good and perfection yeah archery is all about consistency so you know doing the same thing every time repeatability and timing is a big factor in that want to see you know the same hold at full draw for each and every arrow resulting in the same result especially when it's nice and calm as it seems to be at the moment for us so yeah just notice that difference the longer hold and then a nine so the shot process just wasn't quite the same yeah well the final four have been uh, well it's been fabulous in both the men's and women's disciplines here in Lausanne but the clear favorite is Mike Schlusser here for the gold medal and a win a stage win means uh, an automatic place at the Highland Archery World Cup finals in Yankton later this year a ton of dust won the first stage in Guatemala City just a few weeks ago um, I think everyone expects Mike Schlosser to be at those finals. For sure, you know, he's really got to earn his place at this final four. Well, a 29 from Federico Pagnoni, a brilliant score, unless you're up against Mike Schlosser. Gets to put some pressure on, and that's a great first arrow in the second end. Slightly longer hold, that first shot was lovely and quick, wasn't it? And straight in the X. It's a little difference again between those first two shots, but a perfect result so far on this end. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, careful, Mike. He's coming outside the X ring there. <laughs> Brilliant. Really good and very important, not only for his own confidence, but just to show Mike Schlosser he's not and I'll just run away with this. Ten, ten, ten. Perfect 
score. Wow, that's what it looks like. If you open a dictionary, look up the word perfection. You'll see a picture of well, I mean, it's it's really very, very high standard, but I think I'd reiterate that point, that perfect from Pagnoni is so important, not just because of the score, in fact, not at all because of the score, but because of the effect it will have on his confidence and the additional pressure it puts on Schlosser. You've got to keep pushing him all the way. You know, if you start dropping points now, Mike Schlosser will just tear away so putting that pressure on him we know that Mike can drop points he dropped two in the semi-final so it's all to play for yeah and, and, and I think the key thing as well is that as time goes on the closer Pagnoni is or perhaps even ahead against Schlosser the more pressure Schlosser is going to feel about that place in the World Cup final because unless you win a World Cup stage your place is not guaranteed you're relying on ranking points that's right, yeah. I mean, he's going to be fairly high up in the rankings, isn't he? But, you know, to book that ticket and be gone is a sigh of relief. Well, it removes those shackles, doesn't it? It means you can shoot better through the rest of the season in preparation for what is going to be the double header now in Yanked in the World Championships and the Hyundai Archery World Cup Finals. He's done a good job so far, Federico Pagnoni, in keeping the pressure on, still trailing by a single point at the start of end number three. That's a very long hold, but he's pulled away with a 10. Damn. We can hear the wind, can't we, in the uh, microphones in the stadium there, so it's certainly picked up a bit. You can see that kind of loose uh, cable, if you like, is attached to uh, the Italian's rest. And you can just see that flapping around in the wind a little bit. Yeah. Coach happy with that. Beautiful start from Pagnoni. That's the second perfect in a row. That's number three for Mike Schlusser. The quality and standard has remained very high. Both shooting perfects in the second and third ends. This now becomes down to a mistake. Yeah, Mike has got to keep his wits about him. He can't afford to drop the points that he, we saw him drop in the semi. So this is fantastic with Federico pushing him all the way here. He's putting himself in, in a great position by, by just clinging on to that one point deficit. I think the pressure is going to be felt more on the, the Dutch side of the shooting line than it will be on the Italian side. Yeah, you just, just got to stay in the bubble. You know, you can't be thinking as an archer, what's my opponent doing? Um, you know, what's going on, on the other side of the field? You've just got to stick with yourself in that lane, looking at your target and do the best of each and every area you can do. Well, he looks pretty happy, Mike Schlusser there, having a, a little bit of a josh with his coach well, it's not him mucking around it's probably part of uh, keeping him settled so he can keep this very high standard going up against the determined Federico Pagnoni Damn. Yeah. Hold again, but the result is there for all to see. The wind's still playing a factor, a little bit of movement. Yeah. All on the line, but he's going to get the highest score, he's cut the line. His mic just looks so solid, no movement. Yeah. Looks like that one's just crept out. It's going to go for a measure, but I, I think you can see some clear 
space between the arrow and the line so I think that will be a 29 and that may be the error uh, especially with another perfect from uh, Mike Schlosser 120 out of 120 just two drop points from uh, uh, Federico Pagnoni subject to the measure I felt I could see a gap between the, the arrow and the line though yeah I thought I could see a little gap as well so you know just such a tiny margin but that's the difference of a point which could be a, a big big thing going into this last end yeah critical he's having a look himself at this uh, difficult to hear exactly what uh, the target judge said, but I think it was 10-10-9. The perfect confirmed for Mike Schlisser. Oh, <laughs> a look there, but I think you can see a bit of yellow there between the uh, bottom arrow on the left-hand side and the uh, the line. So that will be a nine and a 118 playing a 120. Just don't see Schlosser dropping two points. But then saying that, he did do it <laughs> in the semi-final. So it's not over. He did, but they were on two separate ends. So to drop two points in one end would be unprecedented. Well, trailing as he has done from the very start. Federico Pagnoni will be all about putting the pressure on Mike Schlosser in this final end. Nine. That is not the start he wanted. All of a sudden, you can just feel the weight lightning on the shoulders of Mike Schlosser. Both arrows just dropping a bit low, you know, is he putting the normal power through shots? Nine. Very quick shot there and another nine. Not happy with that. Ten. Okay. Fourteen out of fifteen tens for Schlosser. Pagnoni has I think decided that this one has gone. Nine. Three nines to finish off puts him on a one four five. Uh, ignore six to win. This is all about can we get a perfect 150 here? Oh, so many times has that happened to Mike Schlusser. He shot 140 out of 140, 14 tens in a row, and then something happens on the last arrow, and he drops it into the nine, but an exceptional performance. Uh, to shoot a 149 in the final. Mikey Schlosser has taken the gold here in Lausanne and he booked his place at the World Cup Finals in Yankton later on this year. So many times I've been on the edge of, of shouting, he's done it, 150, 150, and he never lets me say it. Do you know what happened? Go on. You cursed him. That is what happened. You set him up again and you kept commentators curse. You Poor cannot guy. blame me. You cannot blame me. Possibly, possibly Mike Schlusser would like to blame me. Uh, but a 149, what an impressive performance from him. Incredible. Yeah, yeah he's, he's just such a great archer, isn't he, to watch. And uh, really, really solid performance. Yeah, shame about the last arrow, but yeah, fantastic again. Um, from Mr. Perfect.